Yeah, I mean, you studied medicine, but you never practiced as a doctor. You became an activist immediately after you finished your studies. Uh, what was the reason for this? Uh, the most important reason was the discourse with my grandfather. He was a freedom fighter. So there is a lot of discourse. And the second important thing, if you look for the, the healthy society, this is very important to the eliminate the disease. And if you want to eliminate the dis disease here, there is a lot of poverty, caste based patriarchal society, feudal society. So this is very important to organize the people and uh, people will receive their rights, practice their rights and um, and then we have the more healthier society. So I, I will decide this is the more uh, good way to go for the, in the preventive way of the health. Okay. In 1996, Shruti, Vikash and you founded PCHR. How did you get started and what were the biggest problems in the beginning? Yeah, um, uh, along with Shruti and Salud Nastro Vikash Maharaj, me, an historian Dr. Mahan Pratal and poet Gyanin Pati, uh, formed this People's Village Committee on Human Rights in the 1996. But the most important thing that time, uh, the, because uh, I'm as involved as a uh, a rescuer of the bonded labor, bonded child labor. And I look that uh, the whole problem of bonded labor due to the uh, lack of employment and the societal problems and the problem of the human rights of the adults also. So we formed this organization, but initially there is a very less support, highly financial crunch, and um, and um, also uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, obstacles uh, and the confrontation with the feudal forces that uh, we are not very, uh, we are not, uh, very powerful. Mm. Yeah. In 2001 you became an Ashoka Fellow only five years after founding PVCHR. How did Ashoka Foundation find out about you and what are the biggest benefits from Ashoka Foundation for you? Yeah, because I completed my internships before the PVCHR and after that, uh, yeah. in this five years, uh, this is the time for the consolidate our uh, focus. And that time I was involved into creating the model village called as a people friendly village, Janamitra now in Hindi. And uh, Asuka gave uh, this recognition. Two things is very important. That time is the one, one thing is the recognition and the moral support. Second is the financial support for three years, 9,500 rupees per month. And, uh, and, and this is a very tough time that time. So uh, this thing gave me a lot of help. And in the future, uh, after 2001, uh, we received a lot of collaboration with the Basil Fernando, Darin and all. And this is very useful for our work. And in 2007, Yvonne Shamila and you got the Guangzhou Prize for Human Rights from the Korean May 18 Foundation. What do you think was the decisive point for them to give this award to you? Uh, because the issue of the India is the largest democracy, but the biggest problem is the caste system and the militarization in India. And the whole struggle of the anti-caste movement and the campaign against the militarization in India is very similar to the Kwanju uprising. So, because they want to memorize the Kwanju uprising here in the Asia, uh, uh, so they recognize for that because they are looking with very, very a lot of similarity in the uh, the situations and the and the second important time the whole democratic struggles going on for the anti caste movement. So, uh, this is the symbolic um, uh, recognition. Yeah. When you look back, uh, was there any case that touched you most or any victim whose fight impressed you most? Yeah, um, I was shocked when I released uh, a bonded child labor. Uh, Nageshwar, he branded by, by a hot iron rod more than 20 times and he lost his, uh, his uh, voice and all. And, and after three months he spoke uh, uh, the name of uh, his master. So this pathetic conditions uh, push me more to work for this type of people. Yeah, could you give some hard facts about PDHR? 
Yeah, the PVCHR is the affiliated. This is the, actually the alliance of the individual members in, in here. So people are uh, so diverse, diverse and um, a, a lot of um, decentralization, but the 50,000 members and uh, and um, uh, uh, we gave, uh, we succeeded the 51 lakhs rupees, 50,000 rupees as a compensation, 43 police officials behind bar. So, and we released more than 3,000 bonded child labor and child labor um, in the initial phase. So, this is the. Where do you see yourself and PVCHR in 10 years? What are the challenges? Uh, in the 10 years, PVCHR more in this slides and uh, more grassroots legal activism and the global advocacy and to contribute into the uh, establishing the democratic globes and for me uh, this is my exit times start to my exit times for the PVCHR and uh, looking more the capacity building the global campaigns uh, that time uh, you have one son uh, could you imagine him being an activist like you no, no, but because I, I don't believe uh, I started the talented company. Uh, but uh, if he tries, he will go according to him. Uh, there's no pressure from me. Okay. Okay. Uh, you have seen many countries all over the world, from Switzerland to Korea. What do you like in Varanasi? Uh, the most important things, because this city is old city, and one hand the first fascism, spiritualism and many many things. So I born here, so I want to look uh, 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 the changing world and the second important thing uh, I want to change this uh, uh, caste based feudal Brahminical society. Yeah, what is your favorite book? Uh, the one book uh, by the Premchan, very famous in the uh, novelist, Godan. Uh, in Hindi, and uh, this book is also translated in other language, English and all. Uh, this is very fantastic books and uh, uh, on the situation of Indian things. Uh, do we have time for any hobby? Uh, yeah, uh, I have very less time, uh, but if you look in between, uh, because I have the hobby for uh, to talk with the people, chat with the people uh, through the uh, telephones and to, through the net, net and, and evening to drink the uh, alcohol and, uh, um, and, uh, uh, and talk with the uh, someone, this is the whole hobby. Okay. Um, last question, many people are confused about your name, Lenin, uh, could you tell us something about it? Uh, this is the name given by my father and uh, the most important things, uh, uh, if you look, uh, 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 I am the atheist and converted uh, Buddhist from Hindu religion, uh, but this is the, my political stand against the caste system in Hindu religion. But the most important things, uh, uh, sometimes I am the Iglesiarian, Libertarian, sometimes I am the um, Aristotelian, Libertarian, and uh, sometimes my activity is little bit social democrats. Uh, but uh, I'm not uh, very much convinced with the communist ideology because in India, if you look, there is uh, uh, they are not very concretely working for the restoration of democracy and the elimination of the patriarchy and caste system here. Yeah. So my concern is the individuals and and in the last the population of individuals in the form of society. Okay, yeah. Thank you, Lin, for the interview. Thank you too.